Hi, this is Russell Stanner from teachertrainingvideos.com. I'm a huge fan of Camtasia. I've been using it constantly since 2006, mainly to produce online courses, training courses, etc. I'm going to show you the 10 features that I like the most, the 10 features that I use the most when I'm working with Camtasia. Let's get started. So I'm going to choose the 10 features that I commonly use. That's the, the way I've decided to focus these 10 features. And I'm going to quickly go through them just so you understand what you're going to get in this video. I'm going to show you the cursor options. You can do lots of things with cursors, including changing the color, including making them darker or making them more transparent. I'm going to show you the focus tool, the drawing tool. If you want to focus on one part of the screen or a different part, you can have a drawing tool that will draw around certain things and really focus on them. You can have a spotlight. So in other words, instead of seeing the whole screen, suddenly we can darken the screen and just have one area that we focus on. We can have callouts. That is, we can have written text on the screen that points at things, and that can be really nice. We can have animated callouts, and this is where something comes across the screen, onto the screen, and then disappears. And that can, again, be really good for getting the attention of your viewers. You can have subtitles, and including changing the fonts, etc. You can have animated transitions from one video to the other and those are really nice and they make the videos look really professional you can have a really professional opening click so you can have a clip so you can actually start with a clip at the beginning before your video starts that's like an introduction might be the branding for your company you can add voice narration so if you want to talk over a picture you bring a picture into Camtasia, you put that on the timeline, and then you record your commentary. And then the last one is often you'll have information on the screen that you don't want viewers to see. It might be email addresses, it might be numbers, etc. Well, you can blur them, and I'm going to show you those. So let's get straight into it. Ten of my favorite features in Camtasia. So the first thing we're going to look at is cursor effects. And if we come over here onto the right hand side, all we need to do, we've already got the video on the screen here. And if I play this video at the moment, there and is no cursor there. Some additional okay, content just in here. its basic form. But what I'm going to do is come down to cursor, click on cursor. I'm going to use a cursor highlight and I just drop that onto the video. Immediately it opens up these options. Now if we play this video, and you'll see now that the cursor blog, then you has suddenly got a yellow... Uh, kind of highlight area around it. Now I could even change that to another color if I wanted to, so I don't have to actually do it in yellow. And I can even change the opacity. So if I don't want you to be able to see through and I really want to make it very strong in color, I can, or I can reduce it. I can even increase or decrease the size. So lots of options when you're working with the cursor. And I really like that ability to be able to uh, have a cursor on the screen. It really does help people to follow where you are, particularly if you're doing something where you're actually clicking on different parts of the screen, etc. Now, one of the things you often want to do is you want to highlight things on the on the video. So if we play this video, for example, this is teachertrainingvideos.com if you're looking for. So we've got this part here where we're talking about the free content that's available on my website at the top here. And I might want to focus on that. So what I'm going to do is come over to annotations, click on the draw tool. I've got lots of options here, but I'm going to drag this rectangle onto the screen. Make sure, of course, that you're at the exact position you want to be. I'm going to make that a bit bigger because I want it to go right across there. I'm going to play that and just Free trying to get it right. And so I might just then just move it slightly. I just want it to focus on that area and just be a little bit bigger. Okay. So now that really highlights and focuses on that particular part. And I can make that stay on the screen for a long period of time or for a shorter period. I only want it on there for a few seconds. So hopefully now. It should coincide. If you're looking for free content, then you can look at the top set. Okay, so really immediately I'm able to do that and focus on that particular part of the area. It's a great tool and one that I use all the time. Now another tool I like is this kind of focus tool. And as you can see, I'm in the in the presentation, I'm moving now to look at some of this content here. What I can do is I'm going to come again over to annotations, and this time I'm going to be clicking on what's called the no, sorry, got wrong one there, the specials. And I'm going to click on the one that is what we call spotlight. Okay, so I'm going to drag the spotlight onto the screen and I'm going to pull it around that part of the screen here and then I'm going to increase the intensity so the rest of this is really dark and I really like this feature and again I'm just going to make sure that it only coincides with the part that I'm talking about that section there so let's just play that now and see that there's some additional content here and finally if you want to lovely I've got that exactly right so it just focuses during the time that I'm speaking about that it focuses the attention there 
that tool, I really like that spotlight tool. And again, if, if you follow my videos, you know that I use that quite often. Now the next tool I find myself using a lot, and the reason often is just because I've missed something out when I'm doing the actual description. So I might want to point something out additional. So I play back the video and think, ah, oh, I forgot to say that. And what I can do is come up to annotations and simply click on what we call here call outs. And I can just drag a call out onto the screen. It will immediately come on the screen wherever your timeline is. And then I can point at something. So for example, if I want to say uh, sign up for free, okay. Okay, or if I want to even add some more, get some great videos. And what I can do is even selecting that call out is that I can actually change the color of it. So if I want it to be, for example, black, then I can do that. I can change the size of it. I can even change it for a different kind of like a thought bubble if I want. I'm not just limited to uh, using a, um, a kind of square. You've got lots of options. So again, if you click on the call out on the timeline, and then look here at your options. You've got options for the text. You've got options for the actual annotation itself. Uh, so really, really useful uh, in terms of what you can uh, do to get people's attention and very useful if you want to add extra information that you've missed in the video. Okay, let me just bring another copy of that video along so we've got a bit more space to kind of play around with. So I'm simply, rather than bringing in a different video, I'll just repeat the same one. And if I just come along here, what I want to do this time is do an animated call out. And this is something I use more and more. And I'm going to combine two things in Camtasia here. First of all, come down to annotations, but this time we're actually going to click on this arrow one. Okay, and I'm going to put something like um, join my newsletter uh, special offer this month for example okay and I want that to come on the screen but then I want it to disappear and I want it to come on and look a bit more professional than just suddenly appear so I'm going to come down to the behaviors and what I'm going to do is drop this behavior which is sliding I'm going to, I can either drop it here or I can just drop it here drop that behavior on i'm going to come to the, to the actual behavior now and i can even control exactly how it works so at the moment the behavior is like this so it comes here, onto the screen you'll also see that stays on the screen content here and then eventually and it will disappear off blog. the screen now if I, again just like everything else in camtasia you can go to the properties and change them for example let's imagine that i don't want it to slide off to the right but actually when it slides out i want it to slide back to the left so I'm just going to do that, and now you'll see simply now that that works in a completely different way. here, and you'll also see that there's some additional content here. And finally, if you want to follow my blog, then you can... Okay, so really simple again, and so effective. Great at calling the attention of your users, uh, people are watching your video. Now the next feature I want to look at is subtitles. These work really well in Camtasia. I find them very easy to do. I'm going to come down to More, and I'm going to click on Captions. Okay, so we're going to add subtitles. And just from the beginning here, I'm going to click on add straight away. I'm going to add my first one, say, welcome to teacher training videos. Obviously, I can say, I can either write exactly what is being said, or sometimes what I do is do a kind of summary of that. So let's just have a quick listen to what's actually being said. This is teachertrainingvideos.com if you're looking for free content. Right, so let's imagine then that, yeah, I'm going to carry on now. I'm going to say, if you are looking for free content, okay? So that's all. I'm getting click there. I can check. This is teachertrainingvideos.com if you're looking for free content. Okay, this so that, that's perfect then. So if click on plus to add the next the part. section here. And okay, you'll also see and again, I can then just, can look what the I like is the fact it keeps repeating, and, and then I know exactly what to write. So I'm going to say, look at the top section for free content that focuses on tools. Okay, so I'm not writing the same thing, which is often what I do. And now, if we were just to click off here, and just to, sh just to show you uh, that we've now got subtitles on our this is teachertrainingvideos.com if you're looking for free. One thing about these subtitles, I'll just point out you can change the font size if you want to make it smaller. So let's say you want to squeeze more text on. Well, just select that text, come down to your font, make your font a bit smaller, and of course you can get more text on. So again, great tool, and it works very well in Camtasia. I particularly like that feature. 
Okay, next we're going to look at animated transitions. That's moving from one video to another video. And we can come down here to transitions. I'm going to select the videos on the screen. And I'm going to choose the one that I commonly use, which is cube rotation. I'm going to drop that, okay, between those two videos. And let's just see what happens now. If we get to about here on the video, we just play it a little bit technology in training and teaching and you see that this it then does a cube rotation now that didn't work particularly well it does depend for example it works much but if you've got two screens that are completely different then it really is effective of course you're not limited to cube rotation if we just click on there I could change that easily to another one it could be a movement as you can see page turn ripple slide left slide right let's just click quickly change it just to show you how easy it is to just change from one transition to the other ideas for using so this one here training would be and teaching okay the idea of slide training. right or slide left so lots of different ways again of doing transitions and what I like about Camtasia is just so easy to do just drop the transition on and then you've got click on the transition and you've got lots of different properties that you can play around with choosing different transitions etc for this next example I'm just going to delete everything that's on the screen because it's all getting too busy and just so just to keeping it very simple what I want to do is I want to add an intro clip so I'm going to move those two videos a bit further down the timeline I'm going to come up to what's called the library and then I'm going to come to intro clips and just see if I can find those here here they are click on them there's one that I always use again those of you that follow me will know this I'm going to drag this one on here which is called spinning computer okay I'm going to drag that onto the screen move that to the front because I want that to be my introduction and then the video start afterwards now let's just play this introduction very quickly okay now what I'm going to do is just click on that to actually double click on it and I'm going to change that to Russell Stannard okay and then write teacher training videos.com okay and better put that all together because it's all one word but anyway let's just for this example so now simply I've got a new introduction now on the screen or my first introduction and it's all about uh, my company there it is and then straight from there into the video so you can see that I've got all these intro clips this is that I can make at use of and of course you can bring any of them in and simply change what's ever written on the screen and change it to to represent your company so simple to make your own professional introduction okay we've got two more to go next one I mentioned is voice narration so to do this I need to quickly import in a picture so remember that Camtasia can work with all sorts of media not limited to just having screen capture you can bring in real video footage you can bring in images etc I'm just going to quickly grab uh, an image that I can kind of put onto the screen so let's just bring this one on here click on opening and then I'm going to drag that onto the screen so we've got that there now obviously this has got no sound so the problem here, excuse me, I just made a mistake that this has got no sound. So if I come over here, the picture's a bit small, but I can always obviously just pull it out and make it bigger. Or perhaps I should have chose a bigger image, but let's just leave it for now. Uh, what I want to, want to do is just can use these buttons here to come to the beginning of this. And I'm now going to come down to voice narration. Okay, I'm just going to click on start uh, voice here. Uh, here uh, you can see me at the Elton's Awards in London and click on stop I'm going to click on save and now that immediately is added onto the screen so now I can play that back technology in training and teaching you can see me at the Elton's Awards in London so simple that I can actually directly add voice onto images or videos on the screen so if I'm not happy at any time for example with the commentary that I've created it's completely possible for me to delete that commentary come back to that section there and do my own commentary so I could click here again hello this is teachertrainingvideos.com this is the free content here at the top of the screen which you might find useful as we move down further there's also another section of content and see I could actually record that again just save that and then add that narration on to the video okay so voice narration is really powerful you can use it to deal with any mistakes you've made you can add the narration after if you want to you can add narration to pictures etc brilliant tool and I make a lot of use of it 
Okay, so we've gonna talk. We've been talking about the ten tools that I really like, or the tools that I use the most. One of them I commonly use is the blur tool. I often need to blur emails or telephone numbers or data. Uh, if I come onto annotations and come again up to the special blur and highlight section, and this time what I want to do, and you've actually got a couple of options here, really, is I can use blur or I can use pixelate. So just to simply show you, either of them will do more or less the same things in a slightly different way. I'm going to use pixelate. I'm just going to imagine that I don't want to reveal that information there at the top of the screen. Again, I'd have to make sure in this case that it goes for the whole of the screen, but it just simply means that that area is pixelated. Now I can actually decide on the intensity, so if I don't want it too pixelated, so I want the reader to understand that there is something there, but I'm not allowing them to see it, then I could do it like that as well. And just to play the video, you'll now see what will happen. That Hello, area is, is now pixelated. This is the free. Okay, now let me just delete that off and just point out that I could also have used a blur tool that will do more or less the same thing. And just drag that on, you see it's slightly different in terms of its effect, but again, very useful. Not gonna use it normally for things like this. You would normally use it for, blurring out email addresses, etc. Uh, so that was number 10. Okay, thank you very much. If you come to teachertrainingvideos.com and you want more videos on Camtasia, just click on the Camtasia section. There's lots of videos there. And of course, you'll also find content on the YouTube channel and lots of videos on the YouTube channel around Camtasia. If you're looking for any training in Camtasia, then please contact me. Uh, obviously, I go into businesses and companies and train organizations in working with Camtasia. If you wanna follow my work, please sign up to the newsletter. Uh, that way you'll get all the new videos that I've produced and updates on any webinars or any short courses that I'm running. And thank you very much.